Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. Another great presentation today. We're going to teach you all about today again our journey into thyroid, right? We've been doing series of lectures on thyroid. Actually, we started with the endocrinology and covered like most of it. We are in the almost in the last phase of thyroid, uh, uh, <clears throat> thyroid function, thyroid hormones, how does it work? And today, another important topic. Let me introduce myself again, Pramil Charya, the physician, I work as a program director, internal medicine residency, transitional residency, and I'm also a symposium medicine to large medical school. So let's start. So our topic is today is euthyroid 6 syndrome. Okay, euthyroid 6 syndrome. <clears throat> First of all, let's go back and visit our three important hormones and watch the structure. I'm just going to repeat it again. Very, very important. T4 called it tetra. What is tetra? Four. Okay, where is the four? You got four iodine atom attached to what? Tyrosine residues. Okay, tetra adothyronine, my friend. Don't forget it. Now let's go to P3. Tri is the word. Three iodine. One, two, three. Tri adothyronine. Come up here. Reverse T3. T again. Tri. So one, two, three, try idothyronine, but it's reverse. What is the difference? You got the iodine in the inner ring in reverse, in the other T3 outer ring, okay? Very, very important to know the structure before we go in. So again, the topic today is euthyroid 6 syndrome. Now let's get into our topic. First, we're going to define what euthyroid 6 syndrome is, okay? Abnormal thyroid function testing. You got in the setting of non-thyroidal illness without pre-existing hypothalamic, pituitary, and thyroid gland dysfunction. Three things. One, abnormal thyroid function testing, right? Number two, non-thyroidal illness should be there. And number three, no pre-existing pre hypothalamic, pituitary, and thyroid gland dysfunction. Remember that, okay? Now, that part of definition is over. Kind of tell us what is um, so euthyroid 6 syndrome. Let's look a little bit of um, epidemiology in. Uh, very co most common abnormality you see in these people is decreased T3. Very, very important. Decreased T3. Remember that. Okay. Highest incidence severe illness. A lot of times you see this patient in the ICU. Critical illness. That's what you have to look for. Now, there is some correlation with the decreased T4. If T4 goes down, mortality goes up. Okay. Inverse relationship right there. Especially the T4 is less than 2 microgram, 80% risk of death. Very, very high. Okay. Now let's look at the pathophysiology. What happens? There's one, two, three, four, five things you need to know. Let's start with the number one. What's the number one? You got alteration in idothyronine deiodinase. Okay. Acute, in, you know, acute inhibition of D1 in liver and kidney. What is D1? You got type 1. Deiodinase, that's the D1. Don't forget it. Okay? So you got alteration in type 1 deiodinase in the liver and kidney, increase in known deiodinative deiodinative pathway. Let's look at like what are the known deiodinative pathway. Is in is involved sulfur conjugation, alanine side chain deamination, and decarboxylation. Okay, those are the uh, known deiodinate pathways that lead to decreased T3. Again, the most important point remember decreased T3. And then some medication in critical illness inhibit D1 or type 1 deiodinase. Let's look at the medication. What are those medications? You can have like steroids, right? You can have beta blockers, amiron, PTU, free fatty acid, and of course, selenium deficiency. Selenium and thyroid, there's some kind of relationship is there always. That's why when somebody's on hypothyroidism, right, we supply with selenium, okay? Remember that. Now let's look at the alteration of TSH secretion number two. TSH normal early, but then declines. Okay, if you look at it normal early, it decreases. Remember that. And then increased thyroid hormone metabolites, which inhibit TSH synthesis. There's going to be decreased TRH, that lead to decreased TSH. Decreased leptin also has a role, so decreased TRH, and, and it lead to decreased TSH. And some of the medication also affect, let's look at the medication like one more time. In this category, you got dopamine agonist, steroid, OPA, phenytoin, and carbamazepine are the main drug involved in here, okay? Now, third pathophysiology, alteration in the thyroid hormone binding protein. So when you have acute severe illness and prolonged illness, there's malnutrition, high catabolic state that will bring into 
Total thyroid binding globulin will be decreased. Remember that. And then medications, you got seizure medication, Lasix, heparin, steroids, and aspirin. All of this alter the thyroid binding protein, okay? Now the, the fourth one, alteration of thyroid hormone transporters. You know, impaired T4 transport, peripheral tissues in the liver and kidneys, like most of it, that's where they're happening. The last one, alteration of the thyroid hormone receptors. Um, the thyroid hormone activity is mediated by binding of the thyroid hormone receptors. You need to know there are two receptors are, one is uh, TR alpha and the other one is TR beta, okay? So remember, those four things we need to know, I'm just going to like, I mean, actually five of them, right? Not, Alteration in the, the iodothyronine deiodinase, make sure it's, you know, the type 1 deiodinase. Number 2, alteration of the TSH secretion. Number 3, alteration of the thyroid hormone binding protein. Number 4, alteration in the thyroid hormone transporters. And the last one, alteration of thyroid hormone receptors. Okay, now let's look at the investigation. What investigations we have to do? We got a nice box right here. New thyroid 6 syndrome, we put early, mild, and prolonged and severe. Okay, so one thing you always have to remember, what happens to T3? That's like the most important thing. T3 will, T3 will be decreased. Okay, T4 in earlier stage is going to be normal, but later on it will get decreased. And then you got TSH, normal early stage is going to be decreased. Um, and the reverse T3 increased in both early and uh, severe prolonged situation. Okay, remember that, we need to know. What is the treatment? No treatment, remember that, okay? There's no point in you supplying thyroid hormone, it's not beneficial. So don't give any thyroid replacement. So what do you do? You treat the underlying disease, my friends. And then prognosis, what is, why is it important? That's why you need to know the levels. If it is low T3, increase hospital stay, ICU admission, and uh, your mechanical ventilation chances are, goes up very high. You got decreased T4, increased death. Okay, if the T4 is less than 2, it's pretty much gone, 80% chance of risk. Okay, remember that. It's very, very important. Now, let's take a step back, look at our beautiful whiteboard and summarize what's going on. Everybody know, tetraidothyronine, triidothyronine, reverse T3 or reverse triidothyronine. Okay, remember, you have to know the structure. And the definition, three things, abnormal thyroid function tests, non-thyroid illness, and then pre-accessing, no pre-accessing hypothalamic pituitary or thyroid gland dysfunction. Those three things we need to know. Now, just remember the T2, I mean T4 is less than 2, it's pretty bad. Remember that, I'm going to circle again. Very, very important. Okay? <clears throat> now, there's like five things we need to know. I'm just going to just go for the headings. One, alteration of the iodothyronine, dehydinase, D1. Number two, alteration TSH secretion. Number three, alteration thyroid hormone binding protein. Number four, alteration thyroid hormone transporters. Number five, alteration thyroid hormone receptors. Five things. Now let's see a beautiful box. Always remember, what's the point to remember? T3 will go down in early and late. Okay? If you cannot remember anything in your thyroid, remember that. Very, very important. Now, we talk about T3. What happened in reverse T3? It increases, right? Just like it's a reverse, it's opposite right here. And T4 and TSH will be normal in the early stage, but in the later stage, it will continue to decrease. Treatment? No treatment. Zero, my friend, okay? But always treat the underlying cause. Prognosis? We have low T3. Prognosis is not good. Increase hospital stay, ICU admission. If the T4 is low, increase depth. If the T4 is less than 2, patient pretty much gone. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation. Tunes, please study hard and continue to watch our video. And thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us. God bless.